Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Last week, we told you the story of how Truly Green Farms in Chatham, Ontario is using waste heat and carbon dioxide from the Greenfield Global Ethanol Plant across the road to heat a 45-acre greenhouse. It's almost a cliché story of industrial symbiosis, in which the waste of one industry becomes the raw material for another. But heating a greenhouse with waste heat is only part of this amazing story. Angelo Ligori is Senior Advisor at Greenfield Global, an ethanol company at the heart of this virtuous cycle. It's an ethanol plant. It's corn-based, and at that plant we process 400 acres of corn every day, and that corn gets turned into both industrial beverage grade as well as fuel grade alcohol. The plant takes in 19 million bushels of corn each year and produces 200 million liters of ethanol and industrial alcohol. The products today are nearly 200 million liters of product on the alcohol, and then along with that, we produce distiller grains a byproduct that's great food for livestock. We produce the carbon dioxide that is used by both Truly Green next door that grows tomatoes as well as Prax Air, purifies it. And we produce corn oil that is used in biodiesel industry. It's a fascinating industrial ecosystem. Greg DeVries of Truly Green Farms sells corn to Greenfield and then buys the distiller's grains byproduct back to feed his livestock. And as we reported last week, Truly Green Farm's greenhouse is located right across the street and uses waste heat and CO2 from the plant to grow tomatoes. Greenfield's Chatham plant produces both ethanol and industrial alcohols. 75% is industrial grade, whether it's mouthwash or vodka or pharmaceuticals. And the other 25 is used for blending into gasoline. The simple reason for this is Greenfield makes more money producing industrial alcohols for products like mouthwash than it does producing ethanol as a fuel for cars. But that's not all. Greenfield has also come up with a process that extracts corn oil. And that oil is not edible because it's already gone through fermenters and heat. But it's great for two uses. The big one is biodiesel industry. We ship to several locations for conversion to biodiesel. And also recently, we have a fairly good market in a poultry feed. The oil is added to the grain feed, and it's a great way to fatten turkeys and chickens. Greenfield started as an ethanol company, expanded to industrial alcohols, and now calls itself Greenfield Global and is looking to new waste-consuming projects. Renewable natural gas is methane that is coming from a renewable product like green waste. Greenfield is now looking at making cellulosic ethanol, which comes from waste cellulose, a fibrous material that comes from plant biomass, such as corn cobs, wood chips, trees, and pulp and paper industry waste. See the theme there? The Greenfield project has totally blurred the lines between what is a raw material and what is waste. In fact, waste appears to be the new primary raw material for Greenfield. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. Dusty old farmer out working your field Hanging down over your tractor wheel The sun beats